Our view from the hill this morning, and to get it, we're pleased to be joined by Representative John Micah of Florida. He's a member of the Committee on Oversight and Government Reform and also the Committee on Transportation and Infrastructure. John Micah, great to have you back here on America's Forum. Hey, J.D., and an exciting day here in Washington as uh, we act uh, in just a few minutes to undo the president's uh, executive uh, uh, actions which uh, gave amnesty to millions of uh, illegals. Well, you and I talk about it that way, John, but it's worth noting that the, uh, that the left-leaning press in the country says, will the House defund Homeland Security? It's not a matter of funding for Homeland Security. Instead, it's a matter of funding uh, amnesty for illegals, is it not? <laughs> Absolutely, and it's where we we put our money. Are we going to spend it in, uh, on benefits for people who came here illegally? Are we going to spend it on accommodating people who broke the law and are here illegally? Or uh, are we going to spend it on, uh, for example, our proposal uh, takes that, that money I just described away. It puts it into, uh, we'll have more people, uh, uh, customs people, more border patrol people, uh, we will have better uh, uh, aviation security. You've heard, just heard the latest threat uh, in reorganizing some of the efforts of uh, TSA. So um, I think it's a, uh, a step in the right direction. John, of course, yesterday a meeting at the White House involving congressional leadership and this president. Uh, Speaker John Boehner said yesterday he really has two goals and he, as he uh, addressed the press uh, with the rest of the leadership there. Let's take a listen to what the speaker had to say, then we'll get your reaction. Our goal here is to fund the Department of Homeland Security. And our, our second goal is to stop the president's uh, executive overreach. Now, this is not the way our government was intended to work. The president said 22 times that he didn't have the authority to do what he eventually did. And that, of course, was to grant amnesty through executive action by his order. So we heard what Speaker Boehner and you as a member of the majority want to do. Are you going to be able to achieve both of those goals? Oh, I think absolutely. It's, uh, this has been one of the best efforts I've seen. Uh, Republicans have come together. And we've got Republicans who offered uh, a whole bunch of ideas in this to try to make certain that we cover as many of the corners that we can where the, the president has, uh, has taken uh, what we consider uh, unconstitutional action. You know, he, he said he'd do all this with the pen he's tried. Uh, we're going to do it by the Constitution, pass a law, and rein in what he has done. Then we're going to, under the Constitution, also appropriate funds for Homeland Security that enhance our, our border protection that straighten out some of the garbage you've seen with the TSA in different directions, uh, and to make certain that um, the country is, is protected uh, and, and we use it for enforcement and, and uh, homeland security properly. Uh, John, with all the major disagreements between the new Congress and this current president, is there any legislation that both sides agree on? Well, first of all, this is the first time in many years that uh, we have had uh, the Senate and uh, control both the, uh, the you know both the uh, congressional process. Uh, we had 400 measures that uh, sat in the Senate uh, just in the last uh, week uh, that we've been in session. Uh, this week and last week. We passed a number of very uh, good measures that uh, are uh, keystone uh, among them. Well, in a few hours, we'll be leaving for the first joint meeting of Republicans, I, I know, in six years, uh, while we're again in a leadership position for Hershey, uh, Pennsylvania. We will try to, uh, you know, you try to work with the president, but also uh, a lot of the things that he ignored, uh, that Harry Reid blocked, um, and that can improve uh, our conditions, not just national security, but jobs. Uh, well, this country is, is so underemployed. There's so many people who are struggling. I had a 
report one of my papers over half the Ab absolutely. people in my, my district are and, are, are and not are, only are jobs paycheck, in paycheck. short That's supply kind of john micah our time is in short supply stay with us through the break more with florida congressman john micah here on america's forum uh, let's continue our conversation with florida congressman john micah uh, congressman micah always good to have you here Thank there you, are Andy. reports that the president is pushing a very aggressive timetable to implement the executive actions he's already taken and he contemplates more. Can you exercise the power of the purse to stop him? Well, the House will do just that uh, today. And uh, we have uh, uh, worked together. Uh, I've never seen an effort like this as uh, coordinated, uh, trying to make certain that we stop every one of the uh, the executive actions he's taken. You got to remember, he's granted amnesty to about four million uh, people here. He's given them uh, actually federal benefits. Uh, uh, we we want to make certain that doesn't happen. He, he, uh, you know, with the children that came across, uh, he had he uh, has selectively uh, enforced the law. Uh, we're changing uh, some of the prosecutorial discretion that he's uh, assumed uh, with his executive action. And then things like the penalties. Uh, right now, it's actually a $3,000 incentive to hire an illegal uh, uh, because of the terms of the Affordable Care Act and his executive action. Is it, that's unfair when we've got Americans looking for jobs that, uh, that a preference is actually given to employers for to hire an illegal. So uh, just so many... Um, aspects of this i think we've we've covered we tried to uh you know uh, block the loopholes that he's been working uh, from john in the three minutes that remain in this segment i want to change gears now and and talk about uh mindful of your role uh, last term as chairman of the house transportation and infrastructure committee uh, we have seen that slickly produced Inspire magazine from Al Qaeda uh, calling on uh, attacks on uh, on commercial airliners. Uh, as I recall it, in the wake of 9/11, uh, you cautioned about government uh, involvement and in, in the creation of governmental entities in terms of airport security. Of course, now the TSA is the reality. Uh, what is your take on the TSA recommending well, enhanced uh, enhanced measures? Do you think we can do that? And uh, yes. in so doing, first of all, what they've done, and particularly the last six years or, or since we created TSA, we've grown from 16,500 private screeners to now 66,000 uh, TSA employees. We just put a cap in this Homeland Security of 40. 5,000 screeners to replace the 16,500. We're actually putting more money into private screening, which would be under federal supervision, which is the way it should be operated. We have 15,000 administrators. What we need to do is concentrate on, on people who pose a risk, get TSA out of the screening business, get it into the security business. We know who these people are. We, we have trouble tracking and we spend money on bureaucracy and not on good uh, national security. So I, and now these guys are coming up with stuff. We built an expensive system. Their direction is to build bombs and devices that can thwart the, the very weak system that we have. So we've got to stop being politically correct. I'm going to say this. You probably shock some people, but we, we need to start selectively profiling, not on the base of race or religion, but we know who we're looking for. We can't find them because we're shaking down little old ladies, oh, veterans, here, and people hey, who pose no risk. John, here, here's an idea for what we can. We can eliminate the P word. We can call it uh, a comprehensive interview process. That may sound a little well, better. Well, again, uh, <laughs> I'll take you to any of the airports, and I'll show you who poses a risk based on what we've seen. Uh, and uh, we're spending as much time. Uh, we, we don't even have an ID card uh, that that uh, shows us who who uh, workers are. They spent a billion dollars on a Twit card. They don't have a reader for it after uh, 12 years. Uh, 
the things they've done, uh, and, and I'm going to be chairing a transportation oversight subcommittee. And that's what's going to be uh, so we're important. We're taking them apart, try to put it together right. That's what's so important. Uh, John, Micah, we applaud your efforts to make government accountable and in, their, in that way make us both financially, fiscally secure as well as uh, secure as we continue the fight against uh, terror attacks. Congressman John Micah of Florida, very much appreciate your time and your insights today and we'll monitor that vote uh, in the House about funding Homeland Security, see where it goes and if the president moves forward with a veto. Again to Congressman Micah, our genuine thanks. And America's Forum will continue right after this.